Well, whatever time of day or night it is with you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to warn you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game goes on to this evening. Mind you wouldn't believe that if you saw the scenes from the stands. Come rain or shine, the supporters here sing in unison and very evidently they are up for it. And expectations are rising and decibel levels are rising. The noise is quite something. You can feel what football means to the people in this part of the world. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. It is a true heavyweight clash. Well, with nothing resting on this, Peter, I'm hoping that there'll be more impetus for the players to just enjoy the game with, with the pressure off, try out a few different things, and we get something open and free-flowing. I've ever seen a defender, let alone any player, make such a meteoric rise in the manner he did, Peter. Just absolutely phenomenal. A player way ahead of his years, and his composure and confidence is like that of a, a seasoned veteran. Yeah, he'll certainly be leaving his mark on this game, quite possibly actually at both ends. And we're not going to make any further progress now. Dumfries. Now he's off and running. Dumfries is offering an apologetic gesture of sorts. Ah, he made it look a bit predictable. Van Dijk. Blint. Well, it's a move of great promise, but will it really prove productive? Tries a shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Memphis Depay very nearly made that count from a combination of luck and, and good judgment. He steps in, and that's the end of that. Then. Pass is coming off in quick succession here. Certain amount of room for debate here, but a goal kick's been given. Short changes him with that pass. The Netherlands looking to pass their way through. Yeah, Peter, just have a look at this and see how the strikers are, are drifting into wide positions now. And that's tactical, is it? It's not been forced on them. No, it's all related to the hope of creating space for midfield runners. Uh, he's had it taken off him. Stokes. Netherlands finding their passes. 
deftly done. It's beautifully weighted. Well, they've got it again. Made up towards the front line. Chance to break. Stood up well to him there. Thelma. Can he finish? He scored! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. The Netherlands, there's the whistle for half-time. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time, because in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. Already up and running for the second half. England need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Now it's Tony. Then gets over and intercepts. Ake. Here's Blint. Right over towards the opposite flank. Doug Fries. England still trailing by one and looking here to take it up a notch after the break. Dunk. And it's Chilwell. He is through here. And it's hoisted clear. Foden has given away a free kick. And he's had it nicked away. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Stones with the clearance. Now it's Bowen. Rice. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, considering they're only one down, they're closer to conceding a second than scoring a leveller. Chilwell. Chooses to go back. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. And he's there to clear it. Spread out to the left. Foden with the foul.
Tomato. Bowen succumbs to the pressure. Dumfries. Dumfries. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. And that has been cleared. I thought it was going to happen then. How many more chances can they realistically expect now? He's found a way through. Cross goes in there. There's the shot. And with that, the final whistle. 